considerably more dangerous outdoor shell. And for some reason, I can't connect up. AR, if you're watching this, make it a secure connection from now on. The problem is I take too long and my neighbors see an unsecure connection and try to connect to it. Okay, so, flat trim it. Okay. Try a lift off. And it hit a box. Temp whatever, this is uh the Uber dangerous. So, flat trim it, okay, take off. has some higher hopes of working. Flat trim it. Okay. Seems to have worked better. It's really scary in these close quarters, though. But I have to make sure that every time I take it off, just for safety, to flat trim it. impressed about one thing, and that is how durable this thing is. You've seen me eat it several times because we're in such close quarters, and it's still not dead. This time I'm going to try to see how fast the uh, liftoff can be. got it maxed out for rising. And now I'm going to let it land. And it does suck the pow power down, but you can rise and you can land. So that's something. Ate it again, but as you can see. 
see it's still holding together. Pretty amazing, actually. No gears stripped. No cracks in anything. Still holding together. It didn't even really damage the box, so... Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to pull the camera off because I haven't really tried flying it with this hull on it. And by the way, I still have it set for the indoor hull. Uh, I think that's because it calculates weight difference, so I just left it on the indoor so that it could uh, handle the weight of the camera. But I'm going to try it with, it, with uh, this hull on it and see what the ascent rate is. And then once again, I'm going to uh, flat trim it and lift off. Not much faster, really. But you can see it's a whole lot more stable. And I think one of the reasons was the camera is on top. So any time it tilts a little bit, Sorry, it's a small area, so when I start talking loud, the sonar gets thrown off. But when it tilts a little bit, that camera wants to throw it over, and I think once I mount it on the bottom, that it'll uh, it'll stabilize a lot better. So once again, go into a hover, and it seems extraordinarily stable at this point. Even more stable than with the uh, indoor body on it. I'm not adjusting or anything. Again, I do apologize for the mess we're moving. But, uh, one button land, one button take off. You can't beat that. And heck, you even have an air conditioner. Get away from the table. There we go. An extremely stable hover right there. I have the CD case on the ground to create more contrast for the downward facing camera to stabilize it better. If we switch over to the downward facing camera, you can see it's keeping it in there pretty good. Yeah. Way too small of an area, but even in this small area, it's not doing too bad. I'm going to switch back to the indoor hull to keep from doing any damage. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the machine. I think that I just need to figure out some ways of trimming some weight off to be able to get that GoPro to work. Take that.